are you doing today? I hope you guys have been enjoying this little Tokyo series. I've been really excited about making this video and I really, really enjoy the time that I'm spending making them as well. Let me know in the comment below what you think of those videos and what you think of this one. So Rupongi has so much character between the clubs, the trendy store, the fashion, and all the really cool restaurants. I actually wish I spent more time in Rupongi. But I didn't have enough time during my one week in Tokyo, so instead I spent most of my time in Shinjuku, Shibuya, and I tried to explore other areas that I didn't explore before. I've always wanted to check out a museum in Japan. I was actually planning to go to the Tokyo Metropolitan Museum, but one of my friends, Oksal, recommended that I check a museum called 2121. If you don't know Oksal, I highly recommend you guys to check his YouTube channel. He makes those really beautiful cinematic of Tokyo and all his travels. You can check out his YouTube channel on the link above. The Art Gallery 2121 had an exhibition of William Klein's work. He's an American and French photographer and filmmaker. I always want to document my time at the gallery, but unfortunately, most of the time it's really hard to film inside a gallery because some of the work are completely private and they don't allow you to either record videos or take pictures. Have you been to Tokyo? I would love to hear your recommendation on your favorite art gallery in Tokyo or museum that I should see for my next trip. So I didn't film a lot at the gallery, but I got to film a quick b-roll to kind of show you guys how it felt to be there. Here a quick look at my time at 2121. What you want to please don't be polite cause I like your attitude let's forget about a curfew cause all that is stuck in my head it's me and you all speed in my heart is racing but I'm not sure I wanna place it cause it only does this with you our bodies meet I can feel the tension move us into the next dimension let's just let our bodies be true I love art and I'm always looking to find new artists or new gallery that I should explore. So feel free to comment in the section below and let me know what kind of artists I should discover or what kind of gallery I should visit. Next to the gallery was more art gallery and a park and the Ritz Carlton as well as Tokyo Midtown, which is home of the headquarters of Fujifilm and the Fujifilm Square, which feature photography exhibition. Tokyo Midtown felt like a fancy mall. It's trendy with a lot of shops, some of the top chefs in the country. Roppongi is also known for Roppongi Hills, or how I like to call it, Beverly Hills of Tokyo. So the difference between Roppongi Hills and Tokyo Midtown is that Roppongi Hills has a great view, but Tokyo Midtown is actually greener and more upscale. After all, it's literally next to the Ritz Carlton. If you're eager to taste some fancy food made by Michelin star chef, then this is the spot. It's funny because when me and my girlfriend visited Tokyo last time, we could barely find any vegetarian restaurant or restaurant that serve a lot of vegetables and it just happened that when I go to Tokyo on my own I kept finding all those restaurants all over the place. So at Tokyo Midtown I got some food by a famous Kobe chef by the name of Hal Yamashita. The food was delicious and I thought that you guys might want to see it. So here a quick bureau. We make out for the thrill of it mess around for the thrill of it don't stop now never let this end button if you guys enjoy this beer roll. By the way, the green beverage I was having in the video is actually a green tea beer. It felt like drinking an Ishiban or acai with green tea powder. It was the first time that I actually felt healthy while drinking a beer. What's your favorite beer? Let me know in the comment below. You will assume that after such a good meal, I will be done eating. <laughs> no. As I was walking outside of the restaurant, I got lured by the delicious smell of a French bakery. The bakery is called Maison Kaiser. Founded by the famous French baker and food writer Eric Kaiser. Mmm, delicious. 
I've been having so much fun making all these videos, especially this Japan series. I'll be posting more videos about Kishijoji, Shinjuku, Shibuya, and Harajuku. If you don't want to miss out, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.